In frequency domain simulations, every element is represented by an individual S matrix that describes how ingoing optical modes are transmitted into outgoing optical modes at the element ports. In the following, A and B represent the complex amplitudes of ingoing and outgoing modes respectively. The power carried in a mode is the magnitude squared of the complex amplitude. The subscripts 1 and 2 represent ports 1 and 2. For a simple two-port unidirectional element supporting a single mode at either port, the S matrix is a single complex value S21. The output signal, B2, is equal to the input signal, A1, multiplied by the scattering parameter, S21. For a bidirectional two-port element supporting a single mode at either port, the scattering parameters create an S matrix as shown in the diagram on the right. The equations shown here describe how the outgoing signals are calculated from the incoming signals by using the S matrix. For example, B1 is the sum of the reflected signal at port 1, which is proportional to A1, and the signal transmitted from port 2, which is proportional to A2. Elements can support multiple ports, and each port can support an arbitrary number of modes. The size of the S matrix depends on the number of ports and modes. For example, here is the S matrix for the same unidirectional element we saw before, but now with three ports. And here is the S matrix when the same element supports two modes at port 1, three modes at port 2, and two modes at port 3. Multiple elements with different S matrices are connected to form circuits. In the example shown here, matrices A, B, C, and D represent the scattering of four circuit elements. The S-parameter simulator implements a sparse matrix analysis to calculate the complex transmission of the full circuit. This analysis requires that the scattering matrix of each element in the circuit be known. For optoelectronic devices, like electro-optic modulators, this poses a challenge as the scattering matrix depends on the driving voltage. For this reason, InterConnect performs a preliminary step during which the steady-state scattering matrix for each element is calculated and reported back to the ONA.